What's going on guys, it's Luke from South Beach Sports and today we're going to talk about who the Miami Heat should target at Thursday's NBA trade deadline. Now the Heat have already been active so far during this trade season as they acquired Trevor Ariza in a trade with the Thunder last Wednesday. Um, Trevor Ariza, he uh, addresses a lot of the Heat's needs. They needed a two-way forward who can stretch the floor and switch onto bigs, which Ariza will do just that. But also it kind of, it, it paints the picture of what the rest of the trade deadline could look for could look like for the heat um this really decreases the chances of a possible trade for some other two-way forward to do much of what ariza does such as that young rudy gay harrison barnes larry nance those were all names that the heat were rumored to be interested in and all names that i believe that we won't hear much from when it comes to the heat to come this trade deadline this also begs the question of which needs do the Heat need to fill to make another finals appearance? You know, I mean, the rest of the East has gotten better. And the way it looks right now, the Heat are still at least a piece or two away from making another appearance. So, okay, what needs do they need to fill? Uh, a major thing is the, they need a reliable backup center. They need a center who can come in for BAM and play between 12 to 18 minutes per night. Um, some people thought that Precious Achua would be that guy, and I still think his, I, I like his potential a lot, don't get me wrong, but I don't think that Achua will be able to be a reliable big man, at least for this year. And I think they need a veteran presence to really just hold down the minutes that Bam won't be able to play. So one name that I really like is Dwayne Dedman, okay? He is currently a free agent. I'm very surprised that he has not gotten picked up yet because he's, 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 he's a quality player. He last His last full season in the NBA with one team was in 2018 to 2019 with the Atlanta Hawks as he averaged 10.8 points per game, 7.5 rebounds to go along with 1.1 steals and 1.1 blocks. He And he also stretched the floor as he shot... Uh, 38% from three. Now, he took a step back the following year as he was traded from the Hawks to the Kings mid-year. Uh, his three-point percentages were in the low 20s. Um, but I would still take a flyer on him. He is, he'll be very cheap, very low risk, and I think he could really solve the deficiencies that the Heat have when Bam Adebayo goes to the bench. My biggest concern, however, with this Heat team um, has to be the inconsistent guard play that we've seen for way too long this year. Um, this I, Personally, I didn't watch much of the game last night against the Pacers. I was watching a lot of March Madness, as I'm sure a whole lot of you guys were too. But when I did periodically watch the game, um, this it really emphasized the problem that the Heat had been having this entire year and that we don't have consistent guards besides Jimmy Butler. Um, the Indiana Pacers attacked the Heat guards the entire night. Um, I'm, lo I'm just wa looking at the box score right now. Malcolm Brogdon shot 10 for 12 from the field and had 27 points. Karis Levert, 8.7 assists. TJ McConnell, he had 16 off of 8 for 9 from the field to go along with 15 assists. Jeremy Lamb pitched in the 12 points. I mean, their guards went off against us. That's that's the main reason why we lost was their Indiana's guard play against our guard play, and we just currently don't have the 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 defenders at the guard position or the shot creators to really to really raise our possible ceiling. You know, um, Goran Dragic will still have those outings like he did against the Bulls not too long ago where he just he's crazy he's the Goran Dragic that we saw more so last playoffs but as he gets older as he has more injuries we won't see that Goran Dragic as often Kendrick Nunn has improved this year although he is starting to come down to earth a little bit um and Tyler Hero again inconsistent I mean he like, he hasn't had a full offseason that full year one to year two offseason that most second year players have. But at the end of the day, 
you can't you can't count on him to give you 18 a night consistency consistently you know i mean the heat need another guard who can score who can create their own shot and play defense they need they need another two-way guard and i have two players i'll present to you guys today who i think can accomplish that role now the first guard i want to talk to you guys today about is lonzo ball for the pelicans now he's having a career year scoring the ball averaging 14.2 points per game to go along with 5.6 assists and 4.2 rebounds and he's also a great defender as he's averaging 1.3 steals and 0.6 blocks per game he's a terrific wing defender and he's also a very good shooter okay this year he's averaging three point three three pointers a game off of 38.5 percent shooting which is very good and very efficient now i've packaged together a trade here that would send avery bradley and duncan robinson to the pelicans in exchange for lonzo ball now he could throw on a pick there if they need to but i think lonzo ball would present the would provide the heat with another shot creator someone who can hit open shots which has been a problem right now and someone who can pair next to Jimmy Butler as another great wing defender, which they need because um, the other defenders they have next to Jimmy Butler, Kendrick Nunn, Dragic, Hero, Nunn is the best defender there. He's average at best. Uh, Avery Bradley was supposed to be that secondary defender, but he's been hurt a lot. And even when he's supposed to return, you really can't trust him to be healthy. So I think Lonzo Ball would be a terrific addition, even if he's only a half year rental as he needs a new contract and at the end of the season. But yeah, I really like what he would bring to the heat. He would be a playmaker when Jimmy Butler is off the court as he's used to having the ball in his hands. And I think Lonzo Ball would be a terrific addition to the heat. Now, another name that I want to talk to you guys today is Victor Oladipo, who has been in trade rumors and trade circles with the heat for over a year now um he's on the rockets and as you guys know the rockets are really really bad they've lost i think 18 or 19 games in a row and they're in rebuild mode they're selling uh they've already traded away pj tucker to the bucks and uh, i think they very well could trade victor Lodipo this upcoming trade deadline so i've packaged uh, a trade here that would send Two expiring contracts in Mo Harkless and Kelly Olynyk, um, a young asset in KZ Akpala, a somewhat young score in Kendrick Nunn, and a future 2027 first round pick to the Rockets in exchange for Oladipo. And Oladipo would provide the Heat with a secondary scoring option at the guard position that they need so badly. Uh, he's a great defender. And I think that the Heat would turn to Oladipo to be the main playmaker when Jimmy Butler is on the bench. And uh, he would really take the load off for Jimmy. And I think he would, because I mean, when the when Jimmy Butler is on the bench, the Heat often turn towards a Bam Adebayo to be that to be that playmaker for the offense. The offense runs through Bam Adebayo when Jimmy Butler is on the bench. Sometimes that works, and, and I want to say oftentimes, but a decent amount of times, it, the offense just does not run the same with Bam Adebayo as the main guy. That could change in the future, but for right now, he's not consistent enough to run your offense through him. Whereas Oladipo has proven, uh, especially in the playoffs, that you can run your offense through him. So that's it for today, guys. That's all I want to talk about. I just want to break down some possible options at the trade deadline. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe as that would help this growing channel a lot. And also comment down below who you guys would like to target, who you would like to heat the heat to target this upcoming trade deadline. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.